Good morning, everyone. This is Birdman, and welcome to a game that is not very much like Minecraft at all. This is... I uh, no, there's no title on the menu. This is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. It uh, came out just recently on Steam, I believe on October 5th, uh, and it looked like a very, very interesting game. So I decided, you know what, why not give it a play? I love puzzle games. I love not necessarily slasher-type horror games, but just the unsettling-type horror games, and that's what I think this is, or attempting to be. Uh, that, and you get to play as a detective with psychic powers. And, you know, who could say no to that? Psychic detective. So, uh, you see I have a continue here because I, I went into the game, poked around a little bit, just, you know, see how well it goes, uh, you know. That sort of thing. But we are going to start fresh, watch the intro sequence and everything. Uh, let's get started. Uh, yes. There we go. Loading. Takes a while to load. This game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. Keep that in mind. Ethan Carter I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letters started out just like any other fan mail, but soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. So that's all the intro we get. Can I go back through this tunnel? Oh, I can. Uh, I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, so as you can see, first off, it is a beautiful game. Like, just look around. It is just, oh my goodness. It's just pretty. Uh, this was about as far as I got, actually. I just walked around, you know, walked a little way down the rail here. Uh, so we are going to, we're going to explore. It actually... It looks like there's a way to go over there. Let's let's head over that way. Maybe. Oh god. Okay, I'm getting the sense that, that okay, so that's that's the kind of game this is going to be. Uh Okay, that's not very helpful. All right, I sense that it is a trap. Okay, good. So, uh, let's let's not go that way. Let's let's go this way. Looks like there's some nice rocks over here. Just looking around. It is a gorgeous game. Oh my goodness. Let's see. What? What is that? Oh, okay, that is another one. Is this a trap? Let's see. Oh. Oh, I see. See, the puzzling is starting already. See, that trap, when I sensed it, it only had this first bottom part, but now this one has this second part. So there's probably more traps around here that I can sense. All right, we're not going to do that. Um, we're not going to do that yet, anyway. There, there's probably more around here. What we are going to do... Uh, I actually watched the... Oh, okay. I walk over this stuff? Maybe? I actually watched the uh, the trailers for this game before I bought it, and one of them, unfortunately, was a, uh, a gameplay video that was sort of a, a demonstration of the mechanics that they were trying to, um, you know, to use in the game and stuff, and that gave a lot of spoilers for this first uh, mystery to be solved coming up ahead here, so it'll be pretty easy for me to solve that one, but it will give me the opportunity to 
uh, explain to you. Red Creek Valley oh. seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. I hope he doesn't interrupt me like that too often. God, the view is just stunning though, isn't it? Look at that lake. Uh, but it will give me, this case coming up here will give me a chance to explain to you sort of what this game is, is trying to accomplish with its mechanics and stuff. And also the extent that we've seen so far of Paul Prospero's, oh, I always thought it would be Prospero, Paul Prospero's power. Uh, oh, good. So here is this rail car, the front of which is covered in blood. It's great. Blood. Yes, is, is it an animal or a human? Was it an accident or a murder? You can see they try not to... Oh, recently used. Crank. Okay, so here's the first thing. So you can see they try not to just tell you anything outright. They give you things to think about. Uh, but this is one of his powers. So you can see the crankshaft is missing from the train here. And Paul can sense uh, where objects are that are connected to things that he's inspecting. So right now he's, he's sensing the, the train. And as the words get closer, we can see, okay, the crank is in that direction. And we can sort of open a little viewport and see the crank. And there is the crank. It's on a shore. Okay, it's down by the shore of that lake. So later... Later, we can go down there and uh, and find the crank. Let's see. So we probably can't uh, drive this yet, or don't. I don't know. We need to. Let's walk a bit farther here. This is a very open-ended game, by the way. I don't have to solve this right now. I could just go do something else. I could walk down that road and leave it. But I'm gonna try and solve this because I'm curious, and also because. I know the answer already, for the most part. Um, so let's see. I uh, here's something else to inspect. Some ropes. Some ropes that were cut. One is untied, one is tied. But there is no blood. Which means whoever that blood is from, whoever or whatever, it was not this rope. Uh, oh. Here are some severed legs. Let's see, let's follow the blood, and there's the body. Hello, body. Uh huh. So, he wasn't actually killed by blood loss from the legs, he was killed by head trauma, because the rest of this blood is from his skull. Now, here is Paul's other power. He can communicate with the dead, but this one cannot talk to us yet. Yes, yeah, see, see, see. So, Paul can talk to the dead, but only when things are as the dead remember them being at the time of their death. So something in this scene, something in this area is wrong. Something is not where it's supposed to be. Uh... And I'm guessing by the fact that the blood on the train was probably his legs getting cut off, the train is not where it was when it started, when he was dying. So we have to find where the train was and get it back there somehow. Probably. Uh, here, let's go down to the lake and get the crankshaft while we're at it. We'll probably need that. Oh, not crouching. Let's see... Run, 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 run. Let's see, it was somewhere... Somewhere down here, wasn't it? There it is. Aha! 
and the crankshaft, see, is covered in blood. Which means it was probably what was used to uh, bash that guy's head in. I assume. Let's see, back up the hill. Let's see, let's see. Let's inspect more along the track. Okay, that's probably too far. Ooh. Okay, we have to go the other way, sorry. We have to go back up this way. I like the soundtrack, it's very atmospheric. Just this beautiful landscape with this haunting strings. Mm -hmm. So back up the hill here. Uh, let's go this way. Let's see. There's a gasoline can. Or some kind of fuel can. It was dropped for some reason. Aha! Now here... You can see, mm -hmm, see the grass in this rectangle has uh, has dried because the rail car that we found earlier had been sitting here for a long time. So this is probably the main thing that's missing from uh, from the scene is that the rail car was here and ran his legs off and is now over there. But since we have the crankshaft now, we can go and turn on the rail car and drive it back to where it was. Let's see. Dum -ba -dum -ba -doo -ba -doo. What was it carrying anyway? Just scrap wood it looks like. Uh, oh, I didn't put the... I'm silly. Hold on. Didn't put the... I didn't actually start the thing yet. Spinning the crank. There we go. Nice engine noise. Alright, how does this work? Let's turn off. Forward, back. Okay, so let's... Take the rail car back. Let's see. I have to try to get it where that dried grass is. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Which means... Uh, probably just by the fuel. Something like here. Let's see if that works. Not quite. A little bit more forward. Okay. I think that should do it. Is that good enough? Let's see if that's good enough. Let's try talking to the man again. Can I touch you yet, guy? Yes. No? Yes? Did I not hold it for long enough? Oh, is it not? No? Something else is missing. Hmm. See, they didn't show this part. Or is it just the rail car is not quite in the right place? Alright, let's try moving it forward a little bit more. Alright. Tease it. Okay, how's that? That looks better. Is that what you wanted, guy? Oh, I just realized I can totally zoom in on things. 
damn, 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 damn. Okay, um... So something else is missing. Does he need his legs back? No, I can't pick those up. Hmm. What else? What else? There's a tree. Oh, what's this? Oh. There's a bloody rock as well. Is that what you wanted, guy? The bloody rock? Do I need to have that in my hands so I can bash your skull in? No. Alright, well I was hoping to finish this first case in this first episode, but it's maybe looking like that's not going to be the case. Uh, let's see, what else is around? Do not enter. Da oh, what's in here? Rock, rock, rock. Divot with fresh dirt. Oh, uh -huh, I see. That's where the rock came from. Okay. So I've put the rock back where it came from. Maybe he'll talk to us now. Uh, I think, yeah, the touch is highlighted now. So that maybe was it. There we go. Okay. So now, now that he's speaking with us... These, uh, these balls of light coming out of his body are his final memories. They're, they're the last things that his spirit remembers. And so they are going to go to the places that they came from. You see, they, uh, they fly around a bit. Okay, here we go. So here's his final memory here. And then there's... So let's see. Guy standing over him with the, the crank. Okay, probably killed him and here's the same guy and a little boy standing over him here's okay the man and the guy talking next to the rail car oh what's over here and this is the man getting a rock okay And then, let's see. Here. It looks like he was having some kind of seizure or something and fell on the track. Uh, and then here, the boy was tied down with the rope. Okay. Now you can see all of the memories. Now that I've just uh, seen all of the memories, they all have chronology above them. And that's because I have to figure out the order of these memories. I have to figure out uh, what order stuff happened in. So there, there's a few things. Like, for one, the guy still has his legs in, you know, these three memories along the track and doesn't have them here. So these ones definitely happened last. Uh, let's see if... Let's see. Three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. So this one's probably the last one, I'm going to guess. It's the, the six out of six. This one, I'm going to guess, is five, since he was crawling along. And this one, I'm going to guess, is four. Because, you know, the, the blood trail was the last series of events. Um, I wonder, does, the, does he have the rock in his hand here? He does. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to guess that he, he, this guy, the, this guy in the, in the cap here hit this guy in the head with the rock, and that's why he staggered over there, but he had to get the rock from over here first, uh, which just leaves, uh, the boy being tied down as memory one. Okay, so now you can see it says at the bottom, visualize. So now I can try to visualize that series of events and see if that's what happened. Let's see. Listen to me. 
We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Okay, I'm right so far. Gail, honey, I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is, now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants, what all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. <gasps> Ethan was untying himself and he was stumbling along the track. And then. No. Wow. That old man is brutal. Okay, then he was crawling along. Ethan, run, goddammit! Go! Get out of here! He was crawling and. Travis, close your eyes. That is a brutal old man. Okay. And now that I've put all those memories in the right order, I believe I get to see one final memory. If I remember correctly. Yes. But I have to follow it to where it goes. It's going down here. It's going down to where he... Uh, Disposed of the crankshaft, probably. Yeah, let me get down there. Grandpa! Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus, I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. Interesting. Whatever had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. So we've got elder gods going for us. That's great. Uh, well, I think that's a good place to stop. We've solved the first little mystery here. Uh, I'm not sure, is there a, uh, is there a fast travel, a map? Tab, shift, escape, no, hmm. I think there is a fast travel option later, but, uh... I haven't gotten it yet. Anyway, so that is a, a good look at the, the vanishing of Ethan Carter. Uh, I'm definitely going to play more of it. And you can you can see there's mysteries like this, sort of story mysteries. Uh, but then there's also stuff like those, those traps at the beginning. There was something going on with those, but I'm not sure what. Uh, and there's a lot, of, a lot of side stuff like that, too, from what I understand. Uh, I mean, it's a very pretty game. And it's on Steam. It's, uh, it's wonderful. It, I mean, it looks wonderful. It has a good atmosphere to it. The voice acting was a little weird, but uh, I can forgive it, just for the atmosphere. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna stop it here for for this one. Uh, if you liked, leave a like. Or if you didn't like, uh, don't leave a dislike. Just uh, tell me why you didn't like it. I'll try to get better. I'm just starting. And uh, I hope to see you all again someday. But until then, I bid you adieu.